everybody seems to be very happy tonight and we have some very charming customers with us. It gives me very particular pleasure to have a great big coffee down reception for a very lovely group of customers representing the Pasadena Sewing Society. <laughs> and over here we have a very celebrated citizen. A little applause for Mr. Lucas Craigmore, Superintendent of Sewers of Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> Ah, and oh, we have a lovely, beautiful group of Salt Lake City Campfire Girls without their Scoutmaster. Take a bow, girls. <laughs> that was the home of that famous statesman who said, I don't care how many you bring, as long as you bring them young. <laughs> oh, a lovely newly married couple coming down the stairs, clean from Pittsburgh. A little applause. And, uh, <laughs> sit right over here, folks. My name is Shaw. I work here. I get $200 a week. How uh, much? $100 a week. Are you sure? <laughs> $40 a week. Now, uh, wait a minute. Are you positive? Please, my nerves. I owe the firm $7 and a half. <laughs> oh, I was going to do a little number dedicated to the International Photographers Association of Schenectady entitled, Many a Negative Girl Has Been Developed in the Dark Room. <laughs> But I see we have among the guests tonight that eminent recording conductor, Tom Garanovich, and some of his boys. <laughs> Five musicians and a piccolo player. <laughs> they, they didn't expect to be called on, so they brought their instruments. I'm going to ask the boys to play that beautiful number entitled The Return of the Swallow by A. Belch. <laughs> I'd like to have the customers kindly drag each other around on the floor with no extra charge whatsoever. Everybody struggle. <laughs> Customers will kindly segregate and take their pews. <laughs> and, ah, and now we have the treat of the evening. We have that very, very brilliant uh, chiropractic soprano, uh, Madam Ivanoffel Itchy. She sings in all the joints. <laughs> oh, you must know that she has a beautiful voice as she was 17 years with the Metropolitan Laundry. <laughs> Come on, Madam. Come on, Itchy. Scratch up a little number, please. <laughs> Must be good. to the laundry, madam. Let them Fioria! 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 I was going to sing a little number dedicated to the Olympic track team entitled, Even a Taxi Cab Driver Can Make a Running Broad Jump. <laughs> but the customers have requested a little number written expressively for me by a stuttering songwriter from Alaska entitled, Oh, How I Wished I Was in Peoria. <laughs> it's really quite impossible, folks, to sing the little number all alone as I must have a little assistance from the cash customers. Well, there's a little strain in the chorus where I sing a little part that goes, Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. Then everybody joins in and sings, Peoria. Tuna, that's where everybody joins in. Now, we have a lovely crowd tonight. I want a lot of enthusiasm, lovely crowd. Everybody's either married, broad-minded, or drunk, and we can go right ahead. Now, let's have a little rehearsal, everybody, please. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. No, no, wrong, wrong. The idea is that I have the first Peoria all alone. <laughs> now, we'll try it once more, please. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. Peoria. So nice. Oh, lovely, lovely. A little bit sour, but lovely just the same. Now we go right ahead, please. SOS, SOS, Captain, are we lost? We haven't seen our one one and win when we're tossed. SOS, SOS, Captain, tell me, please. Tell me, Captain, is the 
the boat to be a wreck. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. Peoria. Tonight. Oh, how I miss my dear old Peoria. Peoria. Tonight. Say the legislature passed the Loria. And now they got a bounce of in Peoria. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. Peoria. Tonight. Now, on the next little chorus, I'm going to ask that no one kindly join in, only the ladies and female impersonators. <laughs> Watch it very carefully. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. I had no idea the convention was so large. Uh, well, I don't care so much for that. I got a better idea. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the little spotlight, and whoever I pick out for the light has to sing a second Peoria all alone. And if you fail to sing while in the spot, I'm sorry, but I'll have to fine you 50 cents for not singing. But the money, the money is to be turned over to a worthy cause to the Chamber of Commerce of the United States who will build a bungalow in the middle of the Sahara Desert for the senators who voted dry. <laughs> so watch it, please. Oh, how I wish I was in Peoria. Peoria. Ooh, if I'd have known you were coming, we'd had biscuits for dinner. <laughs> oh, how I miss my dear old Peoria. Peoria. Oh, madam, was there any particular time you had to go home? <laughs> Hey, the bootleggers in Peoria, the stuff they sell tastes like Castoria. Oh, how I went, I was in Peoria. Peoria. Ooh, at first I thought you were going to say Pyria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, madam, madam, where are you going? It's the second door to the left. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. A lot of people come down here that don't really know where the telephone booth is. <laughs> Everybody, oh, how I wish I was in Peoria.